Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Millennial Money. So this week I'm going to talk about budgeting and how you can create a budget. So budgeting is really important because it helps you to take control of your money and take control of your spending. If you successfully create a budget, it helps you to manage your finances better and know that you'll never default on a payment because you've already accounted for that in your monthly budget. Also, it helps you work towards your financial goals because if you add a goal into your monthly budget, You'll be surprised how quickly your um, your emergency fund or your house deposit pot um, or your holiday pot builds up. Here's four simple steps into how to create a budget today. So step number one, write down your income. So your income, it could be your salary, um, any second job or any freelance work that you do. Write that down and add it together so you have a total income each month. Number two is write down your expenses. Now, this is a really um, important part because this is the main part of your budget. So I write down my expenses in Apple Notes. Some people um, like to use Excel spreadsheets. I personally find this quite daunting um, and a bit of a chore. I like to do it in my notes because I feel like it's quite simple, quite easy to manage, and it works for me. So here's my uh, monthly budget. Obviously, it can be different for different people. I'm currently saving for a house, so I'm living at home. So I don't have as many outgoings at the moment as I would do when I eventually move out. But it's really important that you include all of these in your expenses. So your expenses are your mortgage or rent, your council tax, your TV license, your water bill, your gas bill, your phone bill, your gym, all things like that you need to include as your monthly outgoings. Now, if you're having trouble to work out how much comes out of your bank account each month, there are a variety of apps out there that can help you to categorize your spending. So these apps such as um, Emma, Emma's a great budgeting app. So if you download Emma, you sign up all of your accounts and it will help you to identify all of your subscriptions. So this is a quick and easy way to do so. Um, I have used Emma in the past. Um, however, I didn't quite agree with it because um, I didn't like the way that it couldn't recognize when I was transferring money into my own accounts um, and it would celebrate me getting paid and having an income, but actually it was me just managing my money between um, my different accounts. So I do like Emma as a budgeting app, but some of the features personally didn't work well for me. Once you've written down your expenses, you need to add them up to find the total amount each month that your expenses come to. This is really important because you're going to subtract this from your total income each month. Number three is really important. This is what I do personally. I separate my money. So I have a bills account and I have a spending account. Now my bills account is with the red regular high street bank and my spending account is actually with Monzo. Uh, Monzo, as some of you may already be aware, helps you to categorize your spending and it helps you to track uh, where your money's going each month and what you're spending your money on. Um, I find that really useful, but actually um, Monzo for me is my spending money account. So what I do each month is I add up my personal outgoing, so my bills um, and everything that I want to account for each month. I add this up and then I subtract this for my income, for my salary amount. What I then have left is I transfer over into my spending slash saving account in my Monza account. Once it's there, I then further budget and manage my money. So the reason I separate my account is my bills account, then I know that all my money and my bills are accounted for each month regardless. Um, what I do when I work out my budget is if something, say, is 5 99 I always round it up. If something is 5 50 always round it up so that if something happened to be a bit more expensive that month, there's always a bit of leeway there so that I don't go into an unarranged overdraft. So once I've moved my money out of my bills account, my bills are accounted for, I'm happy, I know I'm not going to default on any payments, therefore I know my credit score is not going to be impacted and that hopefully I can get a loan in the future should I need to do so because I am managing my money well. So now I've transferred my money over to my Monzo account. Now I'm saving for a house, so this will be included into my budget. So I work out how much that I have got left out of my remaining income that is spare money. So I like to manage my budget and I've worked out what I can live off a month. And by live off, I mean do things I enjoy because I've already budgeted for any bills. I've already budgeted for food. So this is for going out with friends, going out for a drink, going to the pub or um, going to the cinema, things like that. So depending on what I've got planned for the month, now obviously I'm saving at the moment, so we haven't got a lot planned. So I know that I can budget, say, about £100 a month to live off for that month to do things that I uh, want to enjoy. 
and um, therefore the remaining amount of my um, income and my expenses is therefore transferred over into my savings account. Now the only way that I can manage to do this each month is with my budget. So just to round up the take key takeaways from today's video on how to manage your budget. One, write down your income, so your total income from any jobs, side hustles, freelance work or anything that you do each month. Number two, write down your expenses. Now go through your bank statements and work out everything that comes out of your bank account each month. Write this down and add it up. Cat Subcategorize this yourself, so work it out into important necessity bills, bills that have to be paid each month, and then separate into wants, things that you pay regularly each month. Therefore, you can then cut back on extra things there that you don't really need to pay for each month. And once you've added this up, subtract this from your total salary, and therefore you will work out and you will know how much money you actually have spare to manage each month. Now you know how much money you have spare each month, you can stick within your monthly bag budget. Tip number three is separate your money. This really works for me because my bills account is separate and I therefore know that no matter what happens each month, my bills are always accounted for to allow for um, no default payments. Number four, take your budgeting to the next level by categorizing your spending. So use an app, use an app only bank such as Monzo, use an app such as Emma, such as Yolt, categorize your spending and see where your money is going each month. If you see where your money is going each month, you can therefore figure out what you need to cut back on to help you increase your saving or your spending or whatever you want to use your budget for. Okay, so that's it for this week's Millennial Money. Hopefully these budgeting tips have helped you um, and I've given you a bit of an insight into how I budget each month. And um, if you have any questions, please email me, lauren at moneytothemasses.com and follow us on our social media. So our Facebook, Money to the Masses, our Instagram, at Money to the Masses and our Twitter, at Money to the Masses with the number two. Thanks so much for watching and see you next week for the best budgeting apps in the UK.